In this video, I will show how to use the TID4 to determine area under the normal distribution curve. A variable is normally distributed with mean 20 and standard deviation 4. And notice I've already set this up on the graph shown here, where the mean of 20 is at the center of the distribution, and the horizontal axis is scaled by the standard deviation of 4. We're asked to use the graphing calculator to find each of the following areas in decimal form and round to the thousandths place value. We're first asked to find the area to the left of 19. Notice 19 is approximately here. And we're asked to find the area to the left, which is this area here. Since the total area under the normal distribution curve is equal to one, we should be able to recognize here, this area is going to be less than 0 0.5. And now we'll find this area using the normal cumulative density function tool on the T84, which looks like this. This will give us the cumulative area under the normal distribution between A and B, where mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. And by default, if we don't specify mu and sigma, mu is equal to zero and sigma is equal to one, and therefore A and B would be z-scores. So going to the calculator, we press second vars, and then option two for the normal cumulative density function. Now because we're looking for the area to the left, we are going to have to exaggerate the left bound or lower bound. Notice by default here we have negative one E 99, which means negative one times 10 raised to the power of 99, which works just fine, but we can also just use something like negative 999999, and that works as well. Then we press enter. The upper bound or right bound is a data value of 19, again because we're looking for the area to the left. So we enter 19, enter. Mu is 20, enter. Sigma is four, enter. And then we press enter on paste. If you have an older TID4, you enter the same information in this form here as we see on the screen. And then we press enter. To three decimal places, the area is approximately 0 0.401. Next, we're asked to find the area to the left of 13. So 13 is just to the right of 12, approximately here. And again, we're looking for the area to the left, which is this small area, again, to the left. So going back to the calculator, we could press second enter and make some adjustments, but let's go ahead and press second vars and then number two. Because we're looking for the area to the left, the lower bound or left bound can stay the same. We need to change the upper bound or right bound to 13 now, which is the given data value. Everything else stays the same. So we go down to paste, press enter, and enter again. To three decimal places, the area is approximately 0 0.040. For the next two examples, we want the area to the right. For part C, we want the area to the right of 17. 17 is here. So we want the area to the right of 17, which now we should recognize is going to be more than 0 0.5 or more than 1 half. And we'll have to exaggerate the upper bound or right bound this time. So going back to the calculator, second vars number two. The lower bound now is going to be the data value of 17. So we press 17, enter. We need to exaggerate the right bound. I'm gonna go ahead and press 999999, enter. Mu and sigma stay the same, so we go down to paste, press enter, and enter. The area to the right of 17 is approximately 0 0.773. For part D, we want the area to the right of 22. So 22 is between 20 and 24. And we want the area to the right. Press second vars number two. The lower bound or left bound is now going to be the data value of 22 because the area is to the right. Enter. The upper bound, mu and sigma can stay the same. We go down to paste enter and enter, which gives us approximately 0 
In the last example, we want the area between 13 and 26. Here's 13 and here's 26. We want the area between these two values, which is this area here. So going back to the calculator, second var is number two. The lower bound or left bound is now 13. Enter. The upper bound or right bound is 26. Enter. Mu and sigma stay the same. Press enter on paste and enter again. The area is approximately 0 0.893. I hope you found this helpful.